Welcome to our lecture online. In this section of videos, we're going to talk about what we call linear equations. And of course, that begs the question, what is a linear equation? Well, first of all, let's uh, figure out what an equation is. An equation has three parts. An equation has a left side, an equal sign, and a right side. And an equation, by its name, equates the left side to the right side, which means the left side equals the right side. Now, a linear equation is an equation where the variable inside the equation is raised to the first power, exponent being equal to 1. When we write x, we mean x to the first power, so therefore, when every term in the equation either has a number or a variable raised to the first power, then we can say it's a linear equation. So this set of videos is going to apply itself to linear equations only, not quadratic equations or other types of equations. Here's an example of a quadratic equation where the variable is raised to the second power. Now, when we try to solve an equation, which is usually what we're trying to do, we're trying to solve an equation, we're typically given an equation that looks like this. This is a typical example of a linear equation because the exponent of the, two, of the variable here is 1, even though we don't write it. it it's implied that it's equal to 1. And so when we say that we're going to solve an equation, that means we're going to find the, the value or the values. If it's a quadratic equation, it could be more than one. With a linear equation, there's typically only one with a few exceptions. So we're looking for the value of x that will make the left side equal to the right side. How do we do that? Well, you can guess. You can say, well, maybe x is equal to 1, x is equal to 2, x is equal to 3, x is equal to 0. You plug that value in for x, and then you work it out to see if the left side indeed equals to the right side. For example, if we let x equal 0, then of course this term goes away, and this term goes away, and then we have 4 equals negative 2, which of course we know is not true, and therefore we realize that x cannot be 0. So then we try a different value, let's say x equals to 1, so 5 times 1 plus 4 is 9, 3 times 1 minus 2, that would be 6 minus 2 is 4, since 9 does not equal 4, again, 1 is not a good solution for that equation, in other words, x is not equal to 1. So we can guess, and you can see guessing sometimes will take a while, and you might never write guess the correct value, especially if it's not an integer value for the answer. So then we can solve for equation, again, look for the value that makes the left side equal to the right side by following a certain number of steps, a specific type of number of steps. And that's what we're going to learn in this section of videos. We're going to learn the different steps you should follow to solve an equation, and then we're going to see all kinds of examples on how to do that. So that's the, that's in a, a summary of what we're going to see in this next set of videos called Algebra Chapter 1, Linear Equations. That's how it's done.